need these ingredients 200 grams of cooked rice 3 eggs 2 chopped tomatoes 100 grams of pumpkin cut into pieces 200 grams of fried dried fish when you're frying fish it should make sure to remove the skin and old bones you can use sear fish sansuru or tuna while frying it should add pepper powder and one tablespoon of honey fry till get them dry but it should not over fry fried peanuts around 50 grams green onions 50 grams and we need pandan leaves curry leaves and ginger garlic paste first heat olive oil in a pan and add one tablespoon of ghee while oil is heating add one teaspoon of cumin seeds then add ginger garlic paste here yeah, i use ready made ginger garlic paste you can use homemade one also then add curry leaves and pandan leaves then add pumpkin pieces let them to cook around three minutes then add tomatoes while the tomatoes and pumpkin are cooking you should mix rice and eggs i think uh, this may be somewhat different than the way you're cooking fried rice but this is a Korean style of making egg fried rice. Mix rice and eggs well. Then add rice to the pan and mix with vegetables. Let them to cook around 2 minutes. Then add 2 teaspoons of dark soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce. mix all well then add fried dry fish and peanuts Mix well and let them to cook around 2 minutes. Then add green onions. And finally, lemon or lime juice. Here I add uh, half lime. Now a special dried fish fried rice is ready for serving. See how much it is simple. I think uh, anyone can make this. You can serve this with uh, chicken curry or even mixed vegetable curry. I hope you enjoyed with this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. See you next time.